What's up everybody? Welcome to the 10th uh, episode of the Arena Series here. We are recording this on live stream with uh, 2,400 viewers right now. It's awesome. Earlier tonight we were up to uh, almost 7,000. It's absolute madness. I cannot thank you guys enough. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, here we go. So yeah, if you're watching this on the live stream, or if you're watching this on YouTube later on, and uh, you are one of the new followers to Apple Core, uh, I just want to thank you guys again for following. Thank you guys again for watching the channel. Uh, and let you know that I cannot possibly appreciate you guys enough. This has been a huge night and a huge day for us uh, at Apple Core. Uh, we went from 3,000 followers on Twitch to 5,500 almost. So we almost doubled the number of followers we had in one night in a 24-hour live stream we just did. At this point right now, it's been about 22 hours, so it's completely insane. Um, but anyways, all right. Um, since we don't have coin, we're not going to keep traditions. Um, we're not going to keep any of this, actually. We have so many one and two drops in our deck, we're going to try and mulligan everything and try and get some. So, Okay, uh, we did get a three drop, but... Yeah, unfortunately no two. Let's hope we draw one. Nice. Okay, so we'll likely be dropping Sun Fury Protector. Alright. Um, yeah. So let's just drop the... Hmm, difficult call here. If he plays Arcane Missiles, it's better to play the Sun Fury Protector and then weapon up next turn and, and kill the worm. Um, but if he doesn't have Arcane Missiles, this is the better play. So we're going to take a risk and we're going to do it. Let's hope he does not have arcane missiles. Um, if he has nothing and he just pings, that would be the best possible scenario. Oh no, arcane missiles. No. Or frostbolts? Oh no, arcane missiles for zero? Okay, just a trade. <laughs> wow, okay, that was almost extremely scary. Um, okay, so we really have nothing to play. Let's just play the three drop. Um, because it trades favorably with the 2-3, guarantees he will probably use the 3-2. Um, yeah, and we're just going to play this. Even though it doesn't actually heal us for anything, it guarantees that the Monomorm will die and forces him to use the 3-2 or a Frostbolt. Put this apple on your head. Arcane. Oh, a Frostbolt for one. Wow. I think we are about to get wrecked. Um, yeah, I think we're getting wrecked right now. Um, there's really not much we can do. Um, if we want to combo the scrub, we have to drop this first, which means we can't put Taunt on the scrub. Um, I think we're just going to have to play Yeti here and hope for the best. Um, next turn, we're really going to have to like wish that he can't come up with anything else. Um, yeah. We can give the Yeti Taunt, and then we can play the Defias. So hopefully he has nothing to deal with this Yeti. And it's turn 4 and we're about to be at 15 life, it looks like. Please have nothing to play. Oh no. Looks like some sort of buff. What could this possibly be? Um, I don't know. Oh, Panda, okay. Um, that's not bad at all. Alright, well. Ooh, that kind of sucks though. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and, hmm, uh, we're going to give the Yeti taunt and then we're going to play the scrub to set up for, uh, yeah, that's definitely the best play. And let's go ahead and kill the Mono Worm, because it could potentially grow out of control, even though technically the Knife Juggler might be a bigger threat if he does struggle the Yeti once, which allows the Mono Worm to trade if he doesn't have a spell. And I think if he had a spell, he would have played it last turn, so, you know what, let's kill the Juggler instead. Um, and suddenly this board isn't looking terrible. South Sea Captain, okay. Okay. We are at 10 life. That is not good. Um, Wolf Rider, let's see here. Um, hmm. How are we going to deal with this? Well, we can Wolf Rider the 3-3. Three, three. We can trade these two guys here, and we could weapon up and kill the 3-1, but we drop to 7 health, which means we die to Fireball Ping next turn. It's really risky. 
Um, on the other hand, I don't see any other options, so we have to do that. That's the only way we clear this board right now. Um, Give some complete control. Um, and let's just hope he doesn't have a fireball. That's pretty much our only uh, plan or strategy right now. And if he does, then our arena series is over. But at least we did get seven wins, so we should break a profit here. Um, he'll probably ping it to try and draw lethal. Yeah. Setting up for next turn, potentially. Let's hope for a two drop. Three drop. Well... Hmm. Alright, let's just draw a card with the Zerdrake. Next turn we can gadget and auctioneer. Oh nice, Wild Pyro, that's good. And we'll save, well, we're gonna use the one durability on his face. Um, yeah. We're not gonna be hitting any other creatures with our weapon anytime soon, so um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and use it right now. Ooh, that can guarantee lethal if I don't draw. Well, let's see, the Wild Pyro with Phantom Knives and Spell Power does two and then three. But that's not enough, so let's hopefully draw something. Let's hopefully draw another spell to kill off this board. Or else we lose to the Tiger. Or a Taunt, like Defender of Argus. We have two of them in this deck, which means we have a 2 out of 18, a 1 in 9 chance. We have 11% chance to get Defender of Argus. Defender? Please, Defender? Yes, we got it! <laughs> nice! That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, let's just drop Defender um, with Divine Shield. So we can play the Argent Squire here, and then play Def Defender on these two guys to get the maximum health benefit. Um, we don't care if he pings the 3-1, we just don't want him to get through the taunts with the Tiger. Um, so if he has something like Flame Strike, it doesn't kill the 2-1, and he can't just Flame Strike and then kill me um, because of the Divine Shield. So Let's see what he can do. We could pull off a miracle comeback here. Um, who knows? It's, anything is possible, right? Um, let's see what we draw. Hopefully a backstab. Another defender. Wow. Nice. Um, so we can do a Frostwolf Warlord and then give that taunt as well over here and give the 2-3 taunt. Nice. Let's do that. Make it a 7-7 with taunt. Nice, let's kill the 2-3, and keep the Divine Shield on this one and deal 2 damage. Uh, we're really close to lethal, man. We're like 2 turns away if he doesn't get a Fireball. Um, and we're going to be able to one-shot that Fen Creeper. Unless he freezes it with the Water Ellie, which if I were him I would do. Interesting choice. Nice! Oh, that is so good. Alright, so let's play the Auctioneer first, and then we'll backstab... Uh, the 3-2 to draw a card. Let's see what we get. A Blood Sail, okay. So we can weapon up and then play Blood Sail and make it a 3-3. Three, three. Um, then let's go ahead and uh, trade here. And you know what? In case he has Flame Strike, we're going to sack both of these guys on the 2-3, I believe. Unless it sets us up for lethal next turn if we go for the face. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Uh, 14, 18 damage. So yes, it would set us up for lethal if we went for it. So uh, it's a high risk, high reward play, uh, but we're going to do it. We're going to go for it and hope he doesn't have Flame Strike. Uh, if he has Flame Strike, we just lost. Oh, he just drew a blizzard. Oh, that is so terrible. Oh, man. Well, it's not the end of the world, though. It's almost the end of the world. Close, very close. Um, spell, please. Oh, Stormpike Commando. Oof. Well, we can kill the Fairy Dragon at least, so let's do that. And then we'll attack his face and weapon up again. We still have a taunt on the board. He can ping that and then go through with the fire with the water lay for three, but he needs a frost bolt or something that deals one additional damage or two additional damage to kill me. Please don't have it. Don't frostbolt me. Shields up. Okay, that's good. So we might be able to survive. Blood Sail Raider. How am I going to do this? Well, we can do uh, three here, uh, four, five, six here, and then trade here. And technically, that buys me one more turn. 
for a miracle, like an Earthring Farseer, to heal. So yeah, I guess we're just going to do it, because we have to. Um, so four, and two, and then we're going to have to trade down to survive. Play a Blood Sail and summon a new weapon, because we are frozen. Um, Alright, and so he pings our face and sets us to 1 HP. Um, we could still draw Earthring Farce here and potentially clear the board, we'll see. It's unlikely though. We must cleanse the sun well. Please don't ping me. Okay. <laughs> Earthring Farce here! Emperor Cobra. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like we will lose this game. Um, man, so we should have traded with that water really. That damage was absolutely crucial in keeping us alive. It looks like in the long run, him him drawing that blizzard right on that moment was, was so crucial. Um, so we will let him uh, go ahead and destroy our face here and, and blow us up. Um, we did pretty good though. You know, honestly, we did pretty good with this game to make it as far as we did in that circumstance. Um, we didn't make any major mistakes aside from not trading the two, uh, two damage creatures for the water elemental. Um, but even then... You know, I think we would have lost. We took a risk, and if he didn't draw a blizzard at that exact moment, then we were going to kill him the next turn. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and open up the key and see what we get here. Uh, we should make a profit because we got seven wins. That's normally the profit number. Once you hit seven, you should get more than 150 gold back. So let's see. Um, yeah, we so we got 150 back. We got a refund plus 25 gold. And then we also got a pack. So that's why it's always better to do arena, you know, if you do make it up this far. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we get. Alright. I saw an epic, I think. Um, nope, it doesn't look like it. Looks like we just got one rare. Man, well that's not a very exciting pack. <laughs> oh man, that's not very exciting at all. Uh, but yeah. Well, um, anyways... Uh, let's see here. Oh, don't bug out on me, please. Uh, it looks like XSplit might have bugged out on me. Let's hope for the best, though. Um, any day now. Anyways, I'll probably just have to end up editing this, this out later, as long as the file doesn't get corrupt. But thank you guys again for watching. Hopefully, if you like this video, you will like and subscribe. Um, and I post an instructional Hearthstone video, or I will be starting the new YouTube uh, Arena series um, tomorrow or the next day. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching so much. I appreciate uh, appreciate all you guys and all you guys watching on the live stream right now too. Uh, cheers to all you guys. Uh, that's why I keep looking at my laptop. That's where everyone's talking. Uh, hopefully this VOD works and it does not get corrupted like the last one. Um, thank you again, Apple Core, and I will be cutting it uh, shortly here. All right, so I will do like one salute and uh, I will see you guys soon.